Hi, my name is Atsar Aliyar. Uh, I have been doing endoscopic vein harvesting for past 12 years uh, using Torumo versus Plus. Today we will be taking you through uh, what is called a two-part video. The first part is going to be the ultrasound uh, vein, uh, vein mapping, uh, which is important for the uh, endos endoscopic vein harvesting, which will tell you exactly where the vein is, where to make an exact cut. Uh, also, uh, it will tell you whether the, the, this is contraindicated uh, in terms of uh, the, whether the vein is superficial or deep, and it will it will help you uh, not to give you any surprises uh, uh, when actually you put the scope in. And the second part of the video is going to be uh, the live recording uh, of uh, uh, the vein, which will be uh, below knee and above knee, and I will take you through uh, each stage of uh, the dissection and harvesting. So the first part of the video, I'm going to show you uh, the vein mapping bit of it. So uh, I've got a prop, which uh, is a superficial prop, and I, you can see on the screen the, the sonocyte, and the few buttons you need to be aware about is the, the gain button and the depth button. And uh, so now what you see there is the long uh, saphenous vein, the black dot in the middle, and it's about 0.5 centimeter below the, the skin, which is a perfect depth for endoscopic vein harvesting. And all you do is actually keep that vein in the middle of the screen, and you can see as it goes along, it's going a bit deeper, and I just increase the depth a little bit, so actually I can accommodate that. So I can still see the vein in the middle of the screen there, and um, all I do is just follow it up all the way to the top to see the quality of the vein. So that's the vein there, uh, that black dot you can see. Now it's going deep, and I'm almost near the knee crease. There now, the benefit of this vein, my vein mapping is actually, if you look at the uh, other picture, you can see I'm at the knee area where I'm going to make the incision. So I'll move it, the probe, into the middle of the, uh, middle of the, uh, the, the, the vein, into the middle of the screen, and where the vein is, the middle of the probe is going to be where the vein is. If I can open this pen, it will be fine. There you go. So now, here it is going to be, the vein. So middle, and I'm exactly marking where that is. So where that I'm going to make the cut in. So usually the cut is going to be about three fingers below the medial border of the tibia. And um, you can see the mark is going to be here. I'm going to make the cut in here. And usually you feel a groove in here where the vein sits. And it is very essential uh, to know this groove for, uh, for, for accurate cutting. The last thing you want is actually you make a small cut there and you cannot find the vein. Now, if you look at that actually, the vein is there. I know exactly the vein is there, which will be if you look at the screen, you can see uh, a 0.5, one centimeter, 1.5, two. So the vein, I know it's actually about two centimeters deep uh, on the, or from the skin. So I know exactly where I am looking for the vein. Uh, and also, now I complete the scan. If you look at actually, it's going deep again. It is slightly biggest leg. And so I am going to go increase the depth. Now the screen depth is about 2.7 centimeter. And um, I keep the vein in the middle of the screen. It's a very good quality vein. And um, the other thing which I do is actually I measure the caliber of the vein. So actually I know the vein. So I can still see the vein there. Uh, it's a black dot in there. Uh, I keep it up, go up in there. And if you can, in fact, you can see there is a branch joining there on that, on that vein, uh, which is basically, see, that's a branch joining up there. And also, in terms of measuring the caliber, it's very easy. You keep the probe in there. You know it in the middle of the screen. You essentially, you freeze the image. You go to caliper, and you measure the caliper. And here, you, you can see the vein is almost 0.4 centimeter, which is basically a perfect caliber for a, a, a saphenous vein, uh, a perfect caliber for a cabbage surgery. So. This is all I do. Now, I know it. We have a decent vein on the right leg. And just to be on a safe side, what I do is actually, I just mark the other leg as well, just in case if you need more vein and you are already started prepping and draping, you know, you, you, then the surgeon asks for more vein, you know where the vein is. So just to be on a safe side, it's a quick glance on the other leg. There you go. That's the other piece of vein, which is going in here. It's a, again a clean vein, which is running nicely on the leg and which is not that deep as the last one. Now again, to the thigh, it is going uh, deeper again. Very, very good vein actually. So now, to be on a safe side, I mark the other side as well. 
So I know exactly where the vein is going to be, especially on a bigger leg. This, this saves the time of looking for the vein. So here, again, the middle of the, middle of the, the screen, the vein is in the middle of the screen. So it's the center of the probe, I just put a dot, clean it, now I mark it. And that is going to be my cut. There you go. That's vein mapping. 